everyone, this is According to Des, and today I am going to be reviewing a movie called Hot Girls Wanted. It was written by Brittany Huckabee, directed by Jill Bauer and Rana Gratis, I think, and it was produced by Rashida Jones, who we all know and love from The Office. So this is a documentary about the amateur porn business, and it follows a group of girls between the ages of 18 and 21, and there's about eight or so of them, and they all live in a house together with their agent, and just goes over the amateur porn business and how it kind of exploits young girls. These girls come in and they're promised fame and fortune and they're really uh, they're pretty manipulated. As I'm watching the film, I felt really uncomfortable because these girls were being lied to and it just it felt so wrong and it felt like a lot of the times that it might be extreme to some people, but it really felt like they were being raped a lot of the time and they'd come out of their shoots and say like, oh, that was gross, that was disgusting, oh, I didn't like like that and it just seemed like a lot of the time they didn't know what they were getting themselves into and in the beginning they feel really empowered it's so interesting the shift in the film because in the beginning these girls they feel empowered they feel confident they feel independent they're all from pretty small towns and so this was their chance their opportunity to get out of their small towns and kind of make something of themselves they were promised to be porn stars they were promised fame and fortune and at first they're getting they're getting 500 800 dollars a shoot and they're doing quite a few a week so that's like a few thousand a week and for an 18 year old girl that's so much money and they all had Instagram accounts and Twitter accounts and they have like thousands and thousands of followers so they're really feeling like they're getting famous what the girls aren't aware of is that this amateur porn this is a niche that people are looking for inexperienced, innocent, you know, non-confident looking girls. So when they do start getting their confidence, they know the drill, they know what's going on, they get the hang of it, they're, they're out the door. In the documentary, they stated that these girls are only in the industry for three to six months about. Some of them last a little longer if they get into other niche categories like abuse type thing, Latina abuse, bondage, things like that. Then they last a little longer. Some of the girls were in the industry for a year or so but typically it's just three to six months. So this was a really interesting documentary and this is by no means covering all of porn. I think it was pretty controversial because people thought that this documentary was putting down the entire porn industry and that's not the case. The documentary was following these few girls and their situations and it happened to be a bad one. I don't know about any other porn. I don't know really about porn stars. I don't know how they feel but all I know is that these girls felt empowered at first and then they did not you know they felt like they weren't in control they felt like they couldn't say no to certain things so so that's hot girls wanted I would definitely recommend it I think it was really informative they gave a lot of good statistics it was really interesting but it was sad it's pretty heavy it's hard to watch it's young girls that look like they have a promising future and they're all beautiful and smart and really cute and likable and you want good things for them and it's sad to watch them go through something that they didn't really expect and they don't know what's going on and they don't know how to really get out of it. Overall, I liked the documentary. There were some times that the documentary made me curious. It seemed a little acted out and kind of scripted at times. I don't know how authentic the documentary is at all. That I can't tell you. But I always kind of wonder that with documentaries. I can never tell how real or fabricated they are or if they're scripted at all. Um. So anyway, I'd say definitely check it out. It is streaming on Netflix Instant Play. Let me know how you liked it in the comments below. I know this was a controversial film, but I think that they did a pretty good job with what they had. And it was really interesting also, before I go, looking up the girls on Instagram and Twitter and things like that and actually looking at them in, in real life. And also there were really good interviews that the girls did and, um, you know, people that were pro-porn, anti-porn, you know, there was a panel that was done and it was really, it's really interesting. And that's the one thing I love about documentaries is that even after the documentary documentary is over there's so much more to learn there's so much more to look into and that really I spent days just looking up anything I could about this film so that is all I have for you today and I'll see you next time